Begin today the Gemara right at the beginning of Daf Chav Zayin on the at the Mishnah, the beginning of the Yamad. Zok the Heilige Mishnah, Hamei vi get. A shliach is delivering a get for a woman. Va'ova de menu, and he lost it. So what's the halacha now? We don't know now if this get is going to be found. Can you be sure that this is the get that he lost, or maybe not? Says the Mishnah, Matzai la alter. If he found this get right away, and the Gemara will bring various opinions. What right away means? Kosher. Then this get is kosher to use, he can rely on the fact that this is the get that he lost. But Vimlab, if he didn't find it right away, then puzzle. Then this get will be puzzle to use. Even if the husband comes and says, give her the get, this is it. But it, no, we say possibly this get fell from someone else and it's not his get. Which means that it's possible, what we're concerned about is that it's possible that someone else has the same name and his wife has the same name, he comes, he's from the same city, and therefore you can't use this get. In the same Adem. What, again? In the same Adem. Well, the Adim, the Adim, okay, correct, or has the same Adim also, yeah, Chayri, you're right about that. Okay, we'll see in the Gemara, the Gemara will talk about that. Hmm. Not like, if he goes according to Rabbi Lazar, then you don't need signatures in the get, right? Remember that. Yeah. Only according to Rabbi Meir do you need signatures in the get, so possibly, without Rabbi Lazar, you don't even need signatures, Bechal. Hmm. Okay, let's see weiter. Zog the Mishneh, Motzei Bechafisa, Oi Bedluskimeh. What if the get was found in some kind of a vessel or some kind of... The Gemara will explain what this chafisa and luskim is. So, and the point is, not stam a vessel, but a vessel that has some kind of a simon, that the vessel itself belongs to you. And that's where the get was found. So then, because the vessel itself has a simon, that it's yours, so we know that the get that was found in it is also yours. And then the Mishnah says, according to Rashi, this next few words of the Mishnah is, is another point here. Additionally, even if it was not found inside a vessel, but he just recognizes the get, he says, I know that this is the get I lost. I see that, you know, you can see it, the paper and the quality on the, on the writing. There's something that he doesn't have a real simon to say that it's his, but nevertheless, he recognizes. You might as well call this a tvius ayin, when a person can see that it's his. Mm -hmm. So then, kosher. If he recognizes that it's going to be kosher, even if it was not found in a vessel. You look into Rashi, Rashi says, that's how you read our Mishnah, oi, oi. Now, there are other Rishayim that disagree with this, because as we'll see in the Gemara, this idea of a person sort of recognizing something without having a specific simon is something that we rely upon only when it comes to Tzur B'mirabonam, only on Talmud Chacham. But Stam, a person cannot, we cannot rely just on the fact that he recognizes it without a simon. So therefore, others say that you do read it together. If you found it in, one, in some kind of a vessel, in Makira Kasha. So if he recognizes that it is, then it'll be Kasha. So you read it together. Dr. Gemara, Vera Minu, I'll ask you a contradiction from a Mishnah in Mesech Tebav Metziah. In the Perik of Elam Metziah, that's where it discusses all the halachas of uh, Metziah, of a lost item. Matzah get gite noshem, if you find a get of a woman, or v'shechrurei avadim, you find a document of the redemption of an Evet. Daitiki, or you find Daitiki, which is a document that a person, it was a shchiv is about to pass away, he wrote that you should give this and this to, to so and so. Daitiki Rashi says is made up of a few words together. Da tehei lemekim belias. That this that I'm writing is should, should, should stand and be. Or matanais, you find a document that says that uh, you're giving a gift to someone. Vishayvrim, or receipts. What happens with all these documents that you find? Could you return it to anybody? Could you return it to the one that wrote it? Could you return it to the one that had So it says the Mishnah there, Hareza lo yachser. You can't give this back. So for, for example, regarding the get. You can't give back the get, not to the husband, and not to the woman either. Because we don't know, Bechlal, that he wrote it. Maybe someone else wrote it. So you can't give it back at all. Why? But here, the Mishnah says the following, Because our concern is that I will, will argue to the husband and say to him, Look, maybe this get was taka written. But then he changed his mind. He decided not to give it. Right, so therefore, you can't, so then maybe this get was written by someone else and he decided not to use it. And now you want to go, you have the same name, you want to go ahead and use this get, but who says you Bechla wrote this get? So that's, that's the, the reason that that Mishnah over there gives, that I say that who, we're not sure Bechla that he wrote this get. So what's the, what is the Gemara asking over here from that Mishnah? So Rashi explains, what the Gemara is asking is, it's mashma from that Mishnah, what's if the husband himself is standing here and saying that I wrote this get and therefore give it to her? It's mashma that we will give it to her. And we will not, we're not going to be concerned that maybe this is not the get that he wrote. 
if the husband is not saying anything, so then, then we will say, perhaps someone else wrote it. But if the husband himself is here and says that I wrote to get and give it to her, so then I'm going to say, yes, go ahead and give it to her. The Amos is that it's not so clear why this Mishnah, why you should be Medai from that Mishnah this way. There's a, big, a long thesis over here about this, and we'll see actually in the Gemara itself on Ahmed Bey's, there's going to be another opinion that there's really no such diak here from the Mishnah. But that's how the Gemara is Medayik right now, that it's mashma here in that Mishnah, that only if the husband himself is not telling us that I wrote to get, then we say, there's a concern, we don't know who wrote this get, so you can't give it back to anyone. But if the husband himself is saying that I wrote to get, you can give it right back. So that's not what our Mishnah here said. Our Mishnah over here said that only if you found it right away, then you can give it back. But if you didn't find it right away, even if the husband is saying, this is the get that I wrote, nevertheless, you can't give it back to him. So the Gemara says, That's the main point over here. From the Mishnah Bab Mitzi, you see that even if it's after a while, you trust the husband. In our Mishnah it says, no, only if it's right away. Rabbi so Rabbi answers, we're going to have a couple of answers to this question here. Rabbi answers, like Kashi, there's no contradiction. Our Mishnah is speaking about a case where the get was lost in an area where there are many caravans, there are many groups of people traveling through here. So it's possible that someone else dropped the get in this place. So therefore, only if you find it right away, could you give it back? The Mishnah Bab Metziah is a case where there's not other people that are traveling through here. So if you find the get, so you can be sure that it's the husband that says that he lost it, that it's his. There's no one else that comes through here. Furthermore, the Gemara says, now this is not part of what Rabbi, what Rabbi himself said to answer the contradiction, but the Gemara is adding this to explain Rabbi's answer. Even in a place that there are people traveling through here. So now you're concerned that maybe someone else lost this get. But when is there a concern? Only if there are two people, for example, with the name Yasef ben Shimon, they have the same name and they're from the same city. So then you can, then you can be concerned about the fact that maybe this get belongs to someone else. So our Mishnah is only speaking about a case where there are two things. Number one, Shayaris Mitsuyais. And there's someone else that has the same name as you. But otherwise, if you have only one or the other, if it's either Shayaris Mitsuyas or just uh, the fact that someone else has the same name, but other people are not traveling through this place where the get was lost, then there's no concern. And the Gemara says, from where do we know that Rabbi must have meant this, even though I didn't say this clearly? If you're not going to say so, then Kashi the Rabbi, the Rabbi. There would be a contradiction of Rabbi's answer here to something else that Rabbi said in a different place. Because the there was a story with a get, the Ishtakir Beidine de Ravuna, that was found in the Bezdin of Ravuna. So this was a get that was brought to the Bezdin of Ravuna in order to verify the authenticity of the signatures to be Mekayim, this get. And then it was lost there in the Bezdin, and someone came to Ravuna and said, This is the get that I was Mekayim. I want to take this get and give it back to the husband to be able to give this get, or give it back to the Isha, as she received the get. Now, there was a name that was written in the get, or was the name of a city that was written in the get. Bishviri Mosa the Nara. The city of, Mos, of, of Shviri, Mosa means a city, the, the city of Shviri, which is by the river of Rochis. That's usually when you write a get, you write, you write near which river it is. That, that you, today as well, that, that's how you write in a get. Hmm. Now, the question is so it has the name of the city and it has the name of people. Should you be chayshish that maybe there's someone else that has the same, in that very same city, by that same river, also someone else has the same name. So how can we give it back to you? So Vama Ravuna says, what we actually can be concerned for is chayshin l'shnei shviri. We can be chayshish, maybe there's another city with the name, the same name of shviri, at the same name of a river, somewhere else. So that's what we have to be chayshish for. That's what Ravuna said. After this Psaktin of Rav which is being very stringent, be concerned that there's another city with the same name. So Rav Chista says, Go out and analyze this matter. Go find out if this Psak of here, what do you think about this Psak? Because tomorrow Rav is going to ask you about this Shailir. Are we concerned about this Get? That maybe there's another place that has the same name. Nofak, Rabbi went out, Dok, Ashkach, he looked deeply and he found that there's a Mishnah in Bob Metzir that teaches us what the Allah here is. The Tanan, and the Mishnah says, call Maise Bezdin. Anytime you have a document that's being verified by the Bezdin already, then Hareze Yachser. So this document, you give it back when it's found, when you find this document, you give it back and you, to the person that the names are written in this document. 
And you're not concerned that maybe someone else wrote it. You're not concerned about that. Now Rashi explains, once you have a Maisa Bezdin, we're not going to be concerned that maybe this document was written and you never borrowed money with it. So why should we give it back to, the, to, to a Malva to collect money with it? So we're not concerned about that because once a document is being verified, so that means the money was definitely already borrowed because people don't come to verify documents if you never borrowed money with it. So that's not a concern. Someone definitely borrowed money with this document. But the question still is, why should I give it back to the person that has his name in this document? Maybe there's someone else that has the same name that borrowed the money and it's not you. Elamai, you see here in this Mishnah that you know you, you give it back. Not a, you give it back and we're not concerned that someone else has the same name or maybe there's another city with the same name. So he said over here also regarding this story by Rav Huna, he, he, he disagreed with Rav Huna. We're not concerned that there's maybe another city, another place, you can give back this get. So now the Gemara says, Now, this place by Rav Huna, where the document was lost, or the get was lost, the this is similar to a place where you have many people coming through there. This is in a Bezdin where there's a lot of different people and it's busy there. And nevertheless, with Kapashit, what does Rabbi say? That you give back this get to the person that lost it. Why do you give it back? Didn't the rabbi before say, as long as it's a case that there's a lot of people coming through there, that you have to be concerned that it fell from someone else? Alma, so therefore, this is the proof to the uh, second point that the Gemara added before, that when do you say that you're concerned that it fell from someone else? Only if you have a second point. Besides the fact that there's many people in this, coming into this room or in this area, it also has to be a place that you know for a fact that there are two people with the same name in the same city. In Then I say that there's a problem. You can't give it back. But if you don't know the fact that there's someone else with the same name, we're not concerned about that. And therefore, in this Mishnah, in, in Bab Metziah, where it says you can give it back, it's because there's no, you didn't know for sure that there's other people, another person that had the same name. Or, or it's, it's a place that not a lot of people travel through there. Now the Gemara brings another story. Ovad Rabbe Ovde Bahu Gita. Rabbe, also Paskin, regarding an actual story that happened with a get, the Ishtakech Be Kisne Be Pompedisa, that was found by the flax in the city of Pompedisa, Kishmaite, like his Psaktin, that the only time you don't return it is if you have both of these conditions, that there are many people traveling through here, and there's two Yosef and Shimmons that we know in this area, two people with the same name. Otherwise, you can give it back. So the Gemara now explains what exactly does this mean, the flax by Pompedisa. That this was a place, the get was found in a place where people soaked the flax there. Now what's the Chiddush over here? It was actually a place that they knew for a fact that there's someone else, the two people that have the same name that's written in the get, but in that place where they soaked the flax, there's not a lot of traffic coming through in that place. So therefore he gave it back. Others say the The get was found in a place in the marketplace where they sell flax, and there's definitely a lot of people that are coming by that area. And for who shall I But it was clear that there was no two people that have the, there was no chazaka that two people have the same name that's written in the get. But there it is an area that many people travel through there. So here we see you have to have both of these things that you know the two people have the same name. And many people travel through this area in order for there to be a chashash, not to return the get. Now the Gemara continues and says, Rabzeire Romi Masnisen Abraise. Rabzeire discussed the same contradiction that we were discussing from our Mishnah here to Bab Metzia, but he didn't ask from the Mishnah of Bab Metzia that we quoted before, but he asked from Abraise, which says similar, but the, the Abraise uses a different Lashen. Umishani, and he also gave basically, it seems like, the same answer as Rabbe. And, he, and the, the question and the answer went as follows. Tanan, we have over here our Mishnah, Hamev Yiget Vavadeh Men, no person is delivering a get, and it got lost. So in Matzayla Alter, only if he finds it immediately, then kosher. Then you know that this is the get, and you return it to him. Vimlav, if you didn't find it immediately, even if the person is saying, this is my get, you can't give it back to him. Possible. Maybe it fell from someone else. Fir Aminu, so on this Rab Zayda asked, the contradiction from a Braise. The Braise says, Matza get Ishu Bishok. You find a get of a woman in the marketplace. So Bizman Shabal Maide, if the husband comes and says, I admit, I agree, I wrote this get and I gave it to her, belongs to her, Yachzalisha. So you give it back to her. Eina Bal Maide, if the husband does not agree to this, he, he says, I didn't write this get, then lo yachzer, lo yleze, lo yleze. So you don't give back this get not to the wife and not to the husband. So what do we understand from that price there? Ho Bizman Shabal Maide. 
if the husband though himself is being made there that this get belongs to this woman, Mias, Yachsaliisha, you do give it back to the woman. And the Gemara adds, what we understand from that Braise is Vafilal is Man Even if this get was found long after it was lost. So now she later explains how does the Gemara know to be Medaik this? Because otherwise there's no Khiddish in what the Braise is saying. The Braise says you find a get and the husband says, Yes, this is the get that I gave to my wife. So the Braise says, give it back to her. What's the Khiddish? Of course. If the husband says that he, he gave it to her. What, what's the concern? No one's arguing about this. Why shouldn't he give it back? Elamai, the Chiddush of this price must be, even though it was lost for a while. And maybe you may be concerned that someone else lost the same get, still you should give it back. So basically, in this Braise, we see, uh, not like the Mishnah. The Mishnah says, if it was a long time, you don't give it back. Well, Mishani and Avzeri gave the same answer as Rabbi. If it's a place that there's many people traveling here, so then you can't give it back. Possibly someone else lost it. When there's not a lot of people here, so then you could give it back. But now, the Gemara before, according to Rabbe, added another detail. It's not enough that a lot of people are traveling here. It also has to be a situation that we know that it's a chazaka, that someone else has the same name as what's written. It's two people have the same name that's written in the get. So now, Ikidamri, some say that Abzeda agrees to Rabbah, as we proved before, Rabbah's opinion. That we only have a concern if there's a chazaka, that someone else has, we know that someone else has the same name. Then you can't give it back. And behind the Rabbah, Abzeda holds the same as Rabbah. But for Ikidamri, there are those that say that Abzeda argued with Rabbah. Even if we don't have a chazaka, we don't know that there's someone else that has the same name. If it's a place that a lot of people travel through here, you cannot give back the get. And he argues on Rabbah. But now the Gemara discusses something else. Both Rabbah and Abzeda discuss this contradiction. Rabbah asked the contradiction from a Mishnah in Bab Mitziah. And Abzeda asked the contradiction from a Braise in Bab Mitziah. What's the difference between them? Says the Gemara, it's not Bishleim. We understand why Rabbi did not ask the contradiction from a Braise. Like Rabzeide, it's much better to ask a contradiction. It's a much stronger question if you have another Mishnah that contradicts this Mishnah. Why would you ask from a Braise? Why did Rabzeide not ask the contradiction from a Mishnah? Why does he ask it only from a Braise, which is not as, uh, as strong, as, as trusted as the words of a Mishnah? Um, Allah, Rav Zayda will answer you. There's no question from the Mishnah that Rabbi brought, and I already uh, pointed this out before. Mi Katani, that Mishnah that he brought, does it say there, Im Amatnu Naisnin, that if the husband is standing here and saying that uh, Tnu, give it to my wife, Naisnin Vafil Isman Merube, that then we listen to the husband and we give it to her, even if it's after a long time that the get was lost? It doesn't say that clearly in that Mishnah. Dilma, maybe in the Mishnah we, we explain, that if the husband is here and says, give it, you only give it to the wife, like it says in our Mishnah, only if it was found immediately after it was lost. What, what, what does it say there in that Mishnah? In that Mishnah it says that when a get is found and the husband is not saying anything, so then we're concerned that maybe someone else wrote it. That's what it says in the Mishnah. Now, what's the story if the husband is here? and is telling us to give it back to the show. The, the, the mission doesn't say anything about that. We were Medayik. Well, if the husband is here, you can give it back no matter what, whether it was found right away or it was found later. So Rav Zayda says, how do you Medayik that in the Mishnah? Where do you see in the Mishnah? It doesn't say a word about if the husband is here. That's the Mishnah. But in the Braise though, it is clear because the Braise does clearly spell out that when the husband is here, and the husband says, give it back, you give it back. So as I mentioned before, since the Braise is clearly talking about when the husband is here, it must be saying a Chiddush that you give it back even after it was lost for a long time. Because if it was lost and found right away, what's the Chiddush if the husband says give it back? Obviously you have to give it back. So the Mishnah, the, the Braise that it is, is spelling out clearly that you give it back and we understand that that means even later. So therefore Abzeda asks a question from the Braise, it's a stronger question. I think Amara brings another opinion here to answer this contradiction. Rabbi Yirmiya Omar, Rabbi says, there's no contradiction from what it says in our Mishnah, that you only give it back if it's found right away to what it says in the Mishnah or the Braisa of Bab uh, Metzia, that you give it back even if it's found later on. Over there in Bab Metzia, it's speaking about a get that was found, and there are Edim that come and say regarding their signatures that we only signed on one get that has the name Yosef Ben Shimon. 
Rashi's Pshat in the Gemara is that the Eidim that signed the get say, we signed this get and we recognize. We, true, there are two Yosef and Shimon there, but we only signed one get of Yosef and Shimon and this is the guy. We recognize that this is him. So that's why you give it back. There's no concern about this. Says the Gemara, so Yehachi, Ma'i, Lememre. What is the Chiddush over here? Says the Gemara, Ma'o, the Teme. I, because I could uh, think and say, maybe, Leichesh, Dilmes, Rami, Shmo, Kishmo. Maybe there are people that have the same name, and not only two people that have the same name, and the wives have the same name, but the Edim, Ke'edim. But maybe there's also Edim that have the same name. There's other, there's, there's other people that are Edim as well and also have the same name. So therefore, maybe I should be concerned that we can't trust these Edim that are saying that this is the person that gave the get, because maybe there are other Edim that have the very same name, and they, and they were the ones that signed this get, and they signed it for someone else. Right? True, it could be what happened was these Edom are saying that they signed only one get for this person. Okay, they only signed one get for this person, but maybe there's other Edom that have the exact same name as them and they signed this get for the same, for another person that has the same name and these Edom just don't know of that. The same, the same signature, they have the same signature. Yeah, <laughs> correct. They would have to have the same signature. So this is a very, very uh, far fetched uh, concern. So Taisus actually asks Rashi this question. Taisus same says, we're going to be, this is the Chiddush, we're going to be Cheshish for something so far-fetched that the uh, same name, same signature, and uh, and, it, and punk, they both same are divorcing same. at the same time, and then everything matches up unbelievably. So, <laughs> so Taisus has a different shot in the Gemara. Taisus says that the Edim that signed this get say that we signed a get of one person by the name of Yosef and Shimon. We don't know who that Yosef and Shimon was. Rashi says, these Edom that signed the get say, we signed the get, Yosef Mishim, and we know exactly who the Yosef Mishim is, we recognize him. So according to Rashi, the concern now is that maybe there's other people that also signed another get with the name of Yosef Mishim. So says, these Edom that signed the get say, we signed one get for a Yosef Mishim. Now, who the Yosef Mishim is, we're not 100% sure. So now, if the husband comes along and says, I'm that person, we trust him, and we give the get to her. Right, so if you wouldn't have these Edim that are saying that we signed the get for Yosef and Shimon, so then we're concerned that maybe the other Yosef and Shimon wrote the get. And it's, it's possible. But now that the Edim are coming and saying that we, and, and, and this husband doesn't know about it. This, in other words, we're not concerned that this husband is lying. Abdafki is lying. When this husband says, yes, I wrote a get for my wife. It could be Hitake did write a get for his wife. But maybe the other Yosef and Shimon also wrote a get for his wife and you just don't know about it. So now that Aiden come and say that, look, this is our signature, and we only signed for one Yosef and Shimon, so you don't have to be concerned that uh, there was a second get written over here. But if you don't have these Aiden, so then even if the husband is saying, I wrote this get, it is possible that the other, uh, the other Yosef and Shimon wrote a get as well with, uh, with different signatures. He just, he just doesn't know about it. Okay, that's Texas' pshat. Kamash Malon, so that was the Chiddush over there in the Gemara of Bab Metziah that we're not concerned about this. <coughs> okay, the Gemara now here brings a third pshat, or maybe a fourth pshat, to the contradiction from our Mishnah that says you only give get back the get that was found right away, and the Gemara of Bab that says that if the husband says give it back to her, you give it back no matter what, even if it was found later. Ravashi, Omar Ravashi says regarding the Gemara of Bab Kagoin, the Ka'oma, Nekev, Yeshboi, Bitsad, Ois, Plainis that the case over here is that there was a very clear simon. He says he can give back the get because the, the, the Baal or the Isha is saying that I, this is my get, I'll give you a simon. There was a hole in this get right near that letter of the get. The Havale simon muvhok. So the Gemara says not only is this a simon, but this is what's called a simon muvhok. This is a very, very strong, a very clear simon that there could be no dispute about that it belongs to, to this person. So that, that's why you give it back. Now the Gemara clarifies, why are we being so specific about having this kind of a simon? Simon muvhok, a very, very clear simon. The daf kibetzad is plain, is the simon muvhok. Only if the person gives a simon, whether the ish or the isha, give a very strong simon to say that there was a hole by that particular letter. Avul nekev ba'al loy. But if they would come and say that there was a hole in this get, which is also a simon, but that's just a regular simon. For that, you can't give it back. Why? Because because this will get us into the, pro, the, the following uh, question here, which is a discussion in the Gemara and Bab Metziah, Simonim, the whole entire idea that you return a lost object with a simon, when the person has a sign to say that it's his, 
the fact that we follow a simon and give it back, is that something minatayde, or is it only something that Chachamim instituted? The Gemara Bab Metziah says, do you say that minatayde, I can't trust a simon to give something back to someone? In order to prove that it's yours, you're going to have to bring Adim to testify that it's yours. And the Chachamim instituted that you give it back. Now, how does Chachamim have a kayak to force you to give something back if minatayde, you have no obligation to give it back? So Rashi says, when it comes to money matters, we have a klal, hefke bezen hefke. Bezen has the power to institute and say that what's yours, you give to someone else. And Chachamim instituted that we rely on a simon. Or do I say no? That simonim is dairaisa. I don't need hefke bezen hefke. Min you learn out from a pasuk there, from simla, that you give back a, 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 an item just with a simon. So Rashi says, what's the nafkimina if simonim is dairaisa or medirabana? The nafkimina will be right over here regarding a get. Chamim only have a kayak to institute to use a simon regarding money matters because of Hefke Bezna Hefke. Here, though, giving back this get to the Isha will allow her to use the get to prove that she's divorced, that she's not an Eishas Ish anymore. So this pertains to a matter of Isser, Eishas Ish. So for that, Chachamim don't have a power to use their institution of a simon to give it back. So therefore, over here, you have to have a simon muvuk. You have to have a, a simon that for sure works menatayda. Everybody agrees that the simon muvak works menatayda. The question is whether a usual simon, that it's possible that uh, it could be on more than one item, the same kind of a simon. So over there is the question whether you can rely on that menatayda. Rabbi Babachana, the Gemara brings a story that happened. Rabbi Babachana, Ichesle, Gitte, Be Midrasha, he lost a get that uh, he was delivering for a woman, and he lost it in the Bismadrish. And Omar, if anyone finds a get, I can either give you a simon for this get, or I can just recognize it, even without a simon, but I, I, I will be able to recognize what this is. This is going back to the point that I mentioned in the Mishnah, to be makya, tvi yaseyna. So what happened? Hadru uh, and they gave it back to him. Omar, so Rabbi Babachana said, lo yadayna, I'm not sure when they gave it back to me, did they give it back? Did they give it back because of a simon that I gave? So he gave a certain simon, and then they just gave it back to him. He, he wasn't sure if they gave it back to him because of a certain simon that he had. The Kasavri Simonim the Iraisa and the Talmidim and the Bismadrish that gave it back to him held that we can rely on a simon even in and you can even give back a get. Or they just gave it back to me because I said I recognized that this is the get I lost, and they gave it back to me. And then this idea of just tviyas ene, that with your eyes you recognize it, v'daf ketsur b'merabana. This is only for a Talmud Chacham that you can rely on the fact that he says that this, this, this belongs to me. So Rashi here says, first of all, Davka Talmud Chacham has that eye, that sharp eye to see that it's his. And also we can rely on him. We can trust that he says that it's his. Avul inish ba'almaloi, but stam any other individual, we can't necessarily rely on him. Taisus of here actually says that it's not a matter of the sharp eye. Anyone could have an eye to see that something that he recognizes that it's his. But any other person without a sim, we just don't trust him. So only a Tamut Chacham do we trust him with this uh, Tviya sign, recognizing that it's his. Okay, the commissioner said that if you didn't find the get right away, Vim Lav, puzzle. So then you can't give back the get. So what, what is the shear of La'alta right away? What's considered to be a get that was lost and it was found and it's not right away found? Rav Nassim says Shasha, that the get was, was lost for the amount of time that another caravan of people could have traveled through here and they stayed in this area. So it's possible that it fell from one of them. Rav Shem ben Olaza says the amount of time that a person stands there that and sees that nobody else passed through there, so then you can give it back. So Rashi explains this is not actually a certain amount of time. It could be very long, it could be very short. It means just if someone else was there and saw that in this time when the get was lost, nobody else passed through here, you can give it back as long or as short as that may be. The Yashaimrim, another opinion says very similar, Shulay Shah Adam Sham. That could be there was another person there, but he was not wasn't Shaya there. He didn't sort of remain there. He maybe just walked through. He wasn't Shaya in that area. Rabab, Rabab, uh, Rabbi Ahmed, it is. Rabbi says, and the, these following shiurim that the Gemara will say here, Rashi says it's not really based on uh, anything that you would factually be concerned that the get came from another place. It's tam shiurim that the, that these tanaim gave. Kedei lichtev is a get. The amount of time that it takes to write a get. Rabbi Yitzchak Ayme kedei lekroisay. That the amount of time it takes to read a get. Another opinion, the amount of time it takes to write and to read a get. 
the Yashpa Simonim. But now, even in a time where the, the, there, was, what, there was this length of time that someone else could have passed through and so on, these various Shurim here, but the Yashpa Simonim, and there are Simonim on this Gat, and Rashi here says, Simonim of Hakim, we're talking about, about a, a strong Simon, a real Simon that everybody agrees that works in Ataira. So Meid and Aleph, these Simonim themselves are a testimony that it belongs to him and you give it back to him. And what is that? The Omri, like we said before, what's a very strong Simon? The Omri, Nekev Yeshba Bitsad Ois Plainis. That uh, you have a hole that the person tells you that was by a particular letter, that's a very strong Simon. So then you'll give it back even after a long time. Like the Gemara already said before, to answer the contradiction to the Mishnah and Bab Metziah. But, the Gemara adds, Ve'eim Eden al Simone Haguf. A different kind of Simon, Let's say the simon of the, the, the size, the body, the size of the get itself, the Omri Aruch, that the document was a long document, or the goats, or it was a very small, short document. That, that's not considered to be a simon, because you have all kinds of gitten that have different sizes. Matzai kosher bikis, ba'arniki, b'tabas, you found the get connected to a, a wallet, or, or different kinds of wallets, or a, a ring together with something else. Or the get was found in a person's house amongst his other uh, vessels that he has. So then a fill is mamarubi, even if it's a very after a very long time, it'll be kosher because it's together with his other items. Itmer says the Gemara now. Let's just finish here to the Mishnah. So regarding the halacha, we learned uh, which, which is the shear of time that, that we said before. We mentioned a couple of shiurim of time that's considered to be a long time, not la'alter, according to which opinion do we paskin. We go like the opinion that says, as long as someone else was not shoya, did not remain in that area, you can give back the get to the person that says he lost it. We go like the opinion that says, as long as someone was standing there and saw that no one else passed through there, that's when you give back the get. So the Gemara asks, if we know who said what, so lemar halacha kemar umar halacha kemar. Why are they saying that usually when the Gemara brings who the halacha is like, it just says the names. The halacha is like this tana, the halacha is like that tana, or this amayda, that amayda. Why are they saying that the halacha is like is like this, that they, and they, they spell out the exact halacha without just giving the name? And says the Gemara, you can't give a name. Mishum da apchilahu. Regarding the opinions that were brought before, the names were switched. There are some people that quoted it in his name, some quoted it in someone else's name. So if you're just going to say that the halacha is, and use a name, it's not going to be clear what that person with this name said. Did he say it this way or did he say it the opposite? Because it was quoted in different ways. Then we had in the Mishnah, If you find a get inside some kind of a vessel, which is called either a or adluskeme, and, it, and it's, it's yours, and you have a simon on it, so then you can give back the get. Says the Gemara, my chafisa. What is this chafisa? Omer Rabbi Babachana Chemes Ketana, a small leather sack, and that's where the get was found. My dluskeme tlike de sabi. It's a larger leather sack that older people use to store their things in it. Okay. Not after these.